Good morning, guys. How are y'all doing today? This is Saturday. Whew. And I have been busy, busy, busy this morning. I woke up about 6 o'clock hurting so bad. I couldn't hardly stand it, so I had to get up and take some ibuprofen. I laid back in my recliner and I dozed on and off until... I guess it was about 9, 9.30, something like that. Then I got up and got around. I've been uh, sweeping the floors. I call it sweeping. I do it with one of those micro mop things. But I got the whole house, the floors done. Not mopping, just, you know, getting the dust off of it. The loose dirt up. Uh did that. We've had breakfast. I've cleaned up the kitchen. <sighs> I've put a load of washing on and it's done. I decided to go ahead and do this video in between before I switch it into the dryer because one of the items is my husband's um, bibbed overalls and it has, you know, the hooks that comes over the shoulders. Well, when you put that in the dryer, it beats and bangs and carries on. So I decided to go ahead and do this video before I switch the laundry over to the dryer I wanted to show you this uh, this here is a scrapbookingstore.com haul and a close to my heart haul uh, but there's something wrong with my close to my heart I'll tell you about that in a minute but this is the kit that I subscribe to it is I can't remember for sure. I threw the paper away, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but anyway, I think with taxes and shipping and everything, it was like $19 and something a month. It's the smallest kit that they do. You can upgrade it to a, um, you know, the the next up and get more embellishments in it. Well, I'm not, I'm not one to really like a lot of embellishments because I like to make my embellishments. So I'm just going to stick with this plan. And um, matter of fact, most of these papers may end up being embellishments. But uh, it's uh, it's this kit here. It's the Heidi Swap. Well, no, 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 no. That's the extra you get. Let's see. That's the upgrade. Floral Market. Uh, by Echo Park is the collection. The embellishments that they put in mine, because I only have, you know, I have the least amount of embellishments in mine. They gave me this Minx, uh, the Heidi Swap tags. And that's what it looks like, which is great. I can use this for scrapbooking or my memory planner, which to me is, is going to be scrapbooking also. But uh, it'll be done in my memory planner. Um, so they gave me that. And then they gave me these silver glitter alphas by uh, American Crafts. And this is the perfect size for in my memory planner. So they gave me that. Well, that's all of the actual embellishments that came with the kit. But I got 12, 12 by 12 pages here. One of them is a sticker sheet. Um, let me see. I may have twelve by. Tw I may have twelve pages. Not yet. I think. Let me just count. I hadn't counted it to be sure, but I'm, I was fixing to say I may have twelve by twelve of the sheets plus the sticker sheet, but we'll see. We'll see. But this here is the the kit or the collection. It's um, Flower Market by Jen Allison. And it has all of these elements in it. And like I said, most of these are probably going to be turned into embellishments. Because I have a lot of scrapbook paper. And so I can turn most of these into embellishments. Like I said, it's the Flower Market, Cartabella, Paper Company. And this one is called Flower Market Floral. 
Now, this one most likely will be a background paper. Um, because I, I love stripes. So that one I'll probably keep for a background paper. This one here is one of them that I said I probably cut up into embellishments. It can be used for, um, pocket, uh, scrapbooking or, you know, you can just tuck it around your pictures and regular 12 by 12 scrapbooking or memory planners or anything. So I'm probably going to cut these out. I feel like I'll use them more if they're cut out. Although that would be a good background, but it's just not my favorite. Uh, this is called 3x4 Journaling Cards. Uh, for that side there. Okay. This one here I love, but I'm not sure I would like it for a background unless I put gesso over it and kind of muted it down some but I love the trucks I thought about maybe just cutting the trucks out but I have trucks other places so I don't know that I will do that and this here would make a good background page also so this one I'll probably keep whole I'm going to separate the ones that I would keep whole and the ones that I would probably cut up now I seen this and I loved it I'm thinking about taking one of my circle punches and punch out these to use for embellishments. I love that for embellishments. It's like it's the um, embroidery hoop with things inside the embroidery hoop. I'm pretty sure that's what I'm going to do with that. Although I do love the wood grain for a background, but I do have a lot of other wood grain papers. So that's probably going to be turned into embellishments. Oh, this was called, uh, did I tell you what this one was called? This one was called Market Days. That's the one with the truck on it. This one is Embroidery Hoops. I should have known. <laughs> embroidery Hoops. Okay, here's some more elements, uh, cut out cards. But it does have um, the 4x6. It has two 4x6 and the rest is the 3x4 cards. I'm probably going to cut these out. I have a lot of gingham uh, papers from another collection, so that don't matter that I don't use that. It's called multi-journaling cards, so that most probably will be cut out. This is really cute, but it would have to be muted down with gesso or with um, lighter color, less busy colored papers to go behind the picture to kind of mute that down some to use it as a background but I do love this side for a background so I just have to see uh, how how I would use it which side I would use it be according according to the photos that I used and that was called I always forget planted flowers that's what that one's called Okay, this one here is a pretty background to mute it down with just so. Or have lighter color, less busy papers behind the photos. And I love this for a background. And it's called Gar Garden Florals. Here's another uh, thing I'm going to cut up. This is two by twos. Um, I'm going to cut those up to use for embellishments. And that's a beautiful, that would make a gorgeous background. That would make a gorgeous background. Okay, this one's iffy, iffy. Although I do like the idea of using these for embellishments. <sighs> okay, maybe I'll cut it in half. And take the half that I like. I'll decide which half I would like for embellishments more. Either down the middle this way or down the middle this way. Whichever way I decide I like the squares more. And keep half of it to scrapbook with because I love that. And this one's called 2x2 two two squares. Yeah, that's probably what I'm going to do. I'm just going to half this one. Decide which way I want to half it and use the other half for scrapbooking. And for the 12 by 12. Okay. This one here is 
another floral background that could be used if muted down. This is also would be a beautiful background. It's called Market Shop. Market Shop. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time talking today. Whew, can't get my words out. Get my tongue tangled up between my eye teeth and I can't see what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put this to itself because it's going to be half and half. I'm going to see what I come out with here. Now, this is where I said that I had the other trucks, and I am wanting to use this for embellishments so bad. Let's see what the back side looks like. I have gingham. Um, this is called Market Trucks. But since there are so many trucks, I may again cut this maybe a little more than half or maybe half. Cut it in half and use half for 12 by 12 scrapbooking and then cut the rest out for embellishment since it is so many trucks. Okay, that's probably what I'm going to do. So I'm going to put this over here with that sheet and see here. This, I was thinking, did I tell what that was? Yeah, market trucks. This one here, I'm thinking about cutting out and making this up. Uh, what do you call border strips is what I'm thinking about doing and just having a lot of border strips I'm pretty sure that's what I will do with that one that's pretty but it's not really calling to me to use it for a background so I would definitely be cutting it out and the name of it is border strips so I'll be cutting that out to use it as borders so that goes with the one I'll be cutting the whole page out. Here's another one that would be cute, muted down. Um, and then the back side is a, a pretty background for um, layouts. So that is Flower Basket is what that one's called. So I'll be using that full sheet for as it is as a 12 by 12. Here are the stickers. It's the Element Stickers. And it's a full 12 by 12 sheet of stickers, and I like them. It's got a truck there. It's got a lot of different little sayings. I like this, the way you can use these banner. You can use these individually, but the way they've got it curved here, I thought that's exactly the way I'll put it on one of my layouts, whether it be in my memory planner or 12 by 12, because I like the way that looks there. So, that is my uh, scrapbookingstore.com let's see okay let's see I want to see how many I had all right all of these I'm going to use as full 12 by 12 that's one two three let's see. one two three there's a lot of these that look so much alike they will definitely have to be muted down with other Papers or gesso. One, two, three, or use the back side. Four, five. Did I get it this time? Six. One, two, <laughs> three, four, five, six. Okay, six that I'm going to use as full sheets. Uh, so these I'm going to use as half sheets. That's two of them. So these I'm going to cut in half, use one half of it for the 12 by 12 layouts and one half of it as elements as um as <laughs> help me <laughs> embellishments <laughs> so that was uh eight then these are going to be cut out the whole 12 by 12 sections will be cut out as uh embellishments or border strips or cards whatever you know the situation is so that's four of these so that is 12 uh 12 by 12 papers plus the element sheet which i think is awesome plus the two embellishments that comes in the kit shipping tax and everything is less than 20 dollars i can't remember exactly but it is under 20 dollars so I think that's a good deal, especially if you're going to use things like this for 
uh, embellishments or you like to make your own embellishments, then this is a good deal. So I'm excited about that. So that is my scrapbookingstore.com monthly kit that I get every month. And for this particular size kit, it's under $20. Okay. Now, I ordered from um, Close to My Heart, and I actually ordered eight items, and I only received two, but I did call them, and they said they would get the other items in the mail Monday. Uh, she didn't say what happened or what. She just said that it said that it had all been shipped, but I said, well, I didn't get them. This is all I got. <coughs> so, I got the stamp of the month. Which was, uh, let's see if I can find the name of it. Uh, Cherishing Her Stamp of the Month. It's like you can use it for Mother's Day or birthdays or, you know, whatever. Just, it has the big, some big words and then the, some smaller little sayings and a bouquet of flowers to make cards or to scrapbook or whatever with. Then I got the Perk Up. This here is the stamp set and the thin cuts. It's the coffee cup. It says happy pumpkin spice season, which is soon going to be gone. Um, thanks a latte. I like that. Happy sweater weather, which is about gone. Um, perk up. I'm cocoa for you, which I drink coffee year round. So this would be great for any time of the year for me. So that's the only two items I received, but I have supposed to be put in the mail Monday coming um, the Country Bird stamp set with thin cuts, uh, and all of these that I'm fixing to name off as far as the stamp sets comes with the thin cuts. So it's the Country Bird stamp, Dragonfly stamp, Horse stamp, Pig stamp, and each one of those comes with the, the thin cut. Then I also have two stamp pads that's supposed to be coming. Um, lemonade, and don't ask me how to say that word right there, because I don't know. I hope it'll focus where you can see it, but I don't know how to say that word. <laughs> so, that is my haul for today, and I'm looking forward to get the rest of my items. I'm going to slip these right back in this bag here. That it came in. This is what it came in. But they did not put the other items in it. This is just the way it came. Like this. And uh, so. There we go. I'm just. I'm not going to do anything with it. Until I get my other items. That way I know everything's okay. But that's my close to my heart haul. And my scrapbookingstore.com. Uh, kit. Monthly kit. All right, thank you guys so much for stopping by my channel. I hope you've enjoyed this little share, and I will talk with you, all of you good people later. Bye!